it's now mid-August in the UK and we get calls out to this problem loads and we're going to explain to you now what exactly it is. Now what's happening is this tree is covered in wasps. I don't know whether you can see them Rick, there's quite a few up here look. So this tree is absolutely covered in wasps and if we look down here look Rick there's another thing that always comes with this so we've got a wasp there We've got wasps and we've got loads of blue bottles, green, green bottles. Nearly always they come together with this problem. And I think this is basically some kind of a willow tree. In fact, looking, Rick, there's actually the willow, ooh, the pussy willow things all down there. Yeah. This is what causes it. There's no wasp nest in this tree. What's causing this? If we look on this branch here, right? Look on this branch here, Rick. So many Come on, we can, you can actually see all on here. Oh, there's a dead one on my finger there. Look, can you see all these? These are aphids. These are actually called black aphids, but any aphid will do. And this tree producing sap, which the aphids are sucking out of the branches. Sorry about that. The cameraman, Ricky, just got attacked by a few wasps because they this time of the year wasps get really really aggro um, because they're after sickly sweet syrup and what's happening here like i was just about to explain him, is this tree is covered in these little black aphids loads and loads of aphids right now when they pierce the, the branches what happens is the aphids suck the sap out the sickly sweet sap and out of their bum basically they poo out pure syrup like sugary syrup from the sap that they have and what happens is these beasties the wasps and, the, and i presume the blue bottles which is a bit strange for them because they usually feed off dead animals um they love that syrup the only way you're going to get rid of these wasps is to get rid of the aphids that are on the tree but that's not our department you need to go to the garden center for that but get rid of the aphids and you'll get rid of the wasp problem and this this is just a classic this is you know quite often th this will be above a slabbed area and when you look down, you'll notice dark patches and that's where, and you'll notice there'll be flies and there'll be wasps down there as well as on the leaves. And the reason for that is some of the droppings off the aphids are dropping straight down onto the floor and the, the beasties are going down there to go and get their, their beautiful lunch of uh, aphid poo really. So now you know. So if you've got loads of wasps all over a tree, if there's blue bottles and green bottles there as well as the wasps, and you can't see them going in and out of just one area. This is the wasp I'm talking about, just one area. Because if there's a nest in there, there'll just be one entrance to the nest and they'll just be in, out, in, out, and they'll just be coming in and out one part of the tree. But on this one, they're all over this tree. And it's nearly always this type of tree. And I think it's a pussy willow um, or a goat willow. The willow family of trees, basically. Now, you know, if you've got a tree that's in your garden or on your, on your driveway and it seems to be covered in wasps, Look for the aphids, but also look for green bottle flies and blue bottle flies. If you see those there, there's going to be some aphids in that tree somewhere and they're pooing out syrup and the syrup is attracting the wasps and it's also attracting the flies. So I hope this helps. If you want to see some more interesting videos about wasps, take a look at this one. And this one down here is about a hornet that attacks Ricky because we know he loves to run off when we're filming. Uh, but when he got attacked by a hornet, that's kind of hilarious. And why not give us a subscribe because there's loads and loads of information out there on our website and on, on our YouTube channel, as you know. So thanks for watching. Whew.